Warning, this YouTube video may yield unhealthy results in your psyche. If you don't mind that, please continue watching and enjoy episode 2 of Spicy Skyrim with Basil. Uh, as we left off, we were over near this crab shack waterfall. And I'm currently looking for a wood axe. So we don't freeze at night. So we will mark this location on our map so we can return here. Because I'm going to use this as a... Oh, you know, I don't even need to use it as a lookout. Let's just head right for the big city we were planning to head towards anyways. Although there is a little encampment over here I want to check out. Right, let's head over here first. Level up maybe on the way. Burn! You know, as I was playing this game last time, I was thinking about like all these different ways people can go about and marketing their business. You know, you ever listen to those podcasts or even guys on those YouTube channels? They're like, oh, I'm going to tell you like the secrets and how to advertise your business and get like leads and blah, blah, blah. Well, ever notice how they tell you how to do all that? The hell? Somebody's shooting an arrow. Anyways, notice how they tell you to do all that stuff. Yet, they never actually tell you how to go about and do it. Unless you go onto their website and pay for their uh, boot camp $100 or $500 course. But then you listen to some of their videos and podcasts later on and they just give away the information for free anyways. But they just leave out a couple key details. Well, they're jerks. So I was thinking about what could we do? They create our own marketing website and generate all this cash flow for doing absolutely nothing. So, if you guys have any ideas, that'd be freaking awesome. What is going on? Holy! Unholy! Why are there s What the... It's like a village of zombies. Uh... Hi. It has no effect. Okay. Let's not go that way. <laughs> uh huh. Oh man, are they coming after me? Oh, they can't get through the gates. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah. Well, let's go through our marketing thing uh, as I travel. So, how about we come up with some ideas? How about a seven-step plan on how to succeed as a graphic designer? Oh, wait, if I knew that, I'd already have a job as a graphic designer. I mean, I got the skills. I know the technology. I know all the principles. Yet, whenever I go on to an interview... I always get the same results. They're like, hey, we love your portfolio. We, we think you have a great skill set. Um, your experience looks good. Uh, we'll get back to you within a week. And I'm like, okay, great. That sounds very promising. A week goes by. And they're like, oh, well, sorry, but we decided to hire somebody else that had a better matching skill set. I'm like, oh, really? This was an entry-level job with less than one year of experience required. Would you hire somebody with a master's degree for a very basic entry-level job? Hey, Dolza. Yeah, yeah, you better be sorry. You're still studying, huh? Well, I'll stop studying and play more Skyrim, foo! So anyways... I, get, I hear back from these job people. I mean, during the interview, they're great. They're, they're very nice and they tell me a lot about the business. 
It's just that the end result is very disappointing because I believe um, it should be a little bit more upfront what they are looking for. I've gone to a few where they say they want a graphic designer. You get into the interview and they say, "Oh, well, we're look really looking for a developer for our uh, action script, JavaScript, CSS." website programming and mobile application development which you know if they told me that ahead of time or even put that in the job description I probably would not have applied that being said I've also what's uh, what the I've been wandering alone for so long I thought I'd never see another soul again thank well, you wait wait what what did you just pickpocket me Okay. Well, I'm not going down there to help you. There was that big man, but then that thing died. So I don't even know what that is. Is that a bear? Oh, well, if that's a bear. I'm not going near that bear. Oh, that thing's pissed. So go in. Basically, I go to interview. They tell me they love me and then they don't give me the job. What are some other excuses I've heard? Well, I've heard excuse where I, they didn't want me to come back in because their building caught on fire so they weren't able to do any second interviews so they're gonna be pushing back the hiring process which you know is a load of bull. I've also heard like excuses about they just weren't looking to hire anybody, which sometimes is true. It's just very frustrating that I can't believe they would hire somebody with a master's degree for an entry level job because you kind of know they're not going to stick around. And if they've. Yes. Okay. You're not going to rob me? Fine, whatever. You know they're not going to stick around if they have a master's degree for like an entry level job because they're just using it to get the foot in the door because they were unemployed and they want to show everybody, hey, I got a job. I'm going to quit after a year and get something that pays more. Meanwhile, for me, I would love to take any job. Woohoo, we made it. Just so I can prove myself to the world and to myself that I can get it done. Which Hopefully I know I can get done. But we'll talk more about this later. I will keep you all safe. Do not listen to this madman. I am the hero of this game. Trust in me. There's a giant bear over there that killed a mammoth. If I slay that bear... Okay, and he walks back inside the house and everybody just ignores me. <sighs> Jerks! Hey, let's. Uh, we'll, we'll do. Uh, how about you? Unless it's about the mill, I don't have time to talk. The world's going mad, and our y'all. She hides inside with her visions. We need a leader, not some mystic. How can I? She never speaks with us. And now there's talk of rebellion and dragons. No, we can only rely on ourselves. You do well to remember that. Trust you saw the house that burned down. Peculiar, and that's on top of noises. What's a man to do if he can't look to his yard for help? I'll look into it, dude. Also, do you need any logo or website design? Because I know this amazing designer in Rhode Island that can help you out. No? Alright. Well, All think right. about that and get back to me. I just love the poses that some of these Jarls are in. You know, it's like, hey there, I'm just kind of lounging around while my whole town just goes down the crapper. But what can I do for you? Also, she has like these weird green lines around her eyes. Looks kind of gross. I mean, somebody might find this lady attractive. I sure don't. 
She's weird. Plus has crabs on her walls. Ah, okay. Hey, what's up? So, life has brought you to Morthal and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. I understand you have visions? The divines reveal things to me at times. Yes. Oh, yeah? I do not hide this. Oh. It is a gift. Anyone who believes otherwise does not and cannot understand it. I believe in a lot of things, even the Tooth Fairy. So, tell me what's going on. What's up? That which is unknown can create unease, even f Some time will prove me right. I stand where I have always. Now is not the time to fight amongst ourselves. I fear dark days approach, and all of Skyrim's strength will be needed. Until next time. Until next time, you're right. Uh, they probably don't want me to do anything until I go to, what is it, Whiterun? Is it? Anyways, before we go anywhere else, we got to loot this town. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Papa! We got to loot this town, take this Nin route because it's awesome. Uh, we also need that axe. We still need an axe. And that's a blood moon. Great. Mod activated. Awesome. Okay, we'll just read that book. I don't th know if you even have to read the book. We'll just do it anyways. Just to be safe. Alright, there is a mill over here. Maybe there's a wood cutting axe we can just kind of take. Completed Frostfall. Sweet. Oh, some firewood. Uh, firewood. Firewood, firewood. Use chopping block. I can't. Oh, here we go. Take the woodcutter's axe. Nobody's going to yell at me. Nope. Awesome. Can we, like, make this thing more powerful? Uh, yeah, cool. Ah, we need some steel. Okay, fine. I'll play along. But we need some wood. Chop, chop, chop! Hiya! How much wood can a dark elf chuck? As much, I don't know. She can carry plenty of wood. She's gonna need it for these long winter nights. Next step before we head out is probably to get some pelts and leather. Oh, shut up! Stop your barking! Ay, ay, ay! Okay, so while I'm preparing for my amazing journey, I'm gonna stop the video here, and then pick it back up after I've collected a few knickknacks in here, and after I'm done cutting wood, obviously, because this does not make for a very interesting video. So, I'll be right back, guys. Warming up. I love the sound effects in this inn. They're just so lively. So, we're going to pay this orc guy to play me some music. Hey, dude, what's up? Trained at the Bard's College in or not. Wow, you have a guitar too? That's Don't cool. Fall over the group. The good people of so, what else, who else is here? Uh, nobody. Nobody. Some scantily clad woman. The people here work so hard, and they never allow themselves a moment of Let's have a drink, shall we? It won't last forever. Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to have a drink. I must not have a waitress. Let's get one from the bar wench. Offer. What you got for sale? I want some food. What kind of ingredients you got? Some salt pile? I'll buy your salt pile. Oh, I'll take some wine. I don't have enough gold for the wine. What? No gold? Oh man! I don't even have enough room f gold Let's for a room. But, uh, but I guess I better sell something. Uh. Jeez, I don't have anything to offer you. 
Uh, I could sell you some ale. Ah, oh, it's barely enough for the room. All right, cool. Oh, it's ten gold. It was six. No bed. Until next time. Ah, really? Okay, guys. We're gonna have to steal some gold from somebody. But who? Who has gold in this town? I don't remember. I really don't. Um, there's a burnt house there that probably yields no gold. Um, this... what is this? Uh, shop. It's open. Hmm. Hello? I just need some... supplies. If you don't mind. Okay, here we go. Gold, gold, gold. Don't really want to be stealing from you, but I don't really have a choice. Oh, that's exactly what we needed. Let's just take all your supplies for alchemy. <laughs> Kind of puts in this bowl. Potions. I will. I. Oh, what's this? Eh. I won't steal your potions, but I will take everything else. Ah, never mind. I did take a potion. Salt pile. Gold. Some blubber. Heart. Cast iron pot. Don't know. Hmm. I like that poison. Can I ever have too many salt piles? Poison. You know, after stealing all the stuff from somebody's house, you'd think they'd notice once I woke up said, Hey, you were the last guy in my house. You stole everything. I'm like, uh, no I didn't. That wasn't me. What are you talking about? I'm talking about foo. I want some of that wine. I was going to drink some wine at the bar, but nope. They wouldn't let me. Mmm, delicious. You feel completely warm. Ah, oh, man, some skooma. The wisp mother. Nothing. Nothing. The lava jack. Hmm. Okay guys, I'm going to be looting this guy's house some more and I'll get back. Hold on. Now that it's daytime, I'm going to head out to try to level up. Get some leather and pelts so we can make our tent. Which will make our traveling much, much easier. I'm just heading this way. What is this? Hello? What do you need? I don't need anything. I thought you guys might have had a quest for me. But if you don't, you don't. Okay, there's something definitely over here. What is this? A wolf? Ice wolf? Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Ah. Eesh. Why are these things so powerful? Yes, I know I'm playing on a harder difficulty. But still! Yeah, I'm gonna lead him into town. Maybe the guards will take care of him for me. Or somebody. Maybe that lady will do it. Help! Help! I'm weak! I'll help. Thanks! 
Okay. Take the arrow, the pelt, and t I'll just take the what I need from this wolf. That way, I have plenty to go on. Plus, I can help me make my um, tent in suitcase easier. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to the sound in the game. I'll have to address this issue. But let's continue playing for now. Yeah, so as I was editing this video, I noticed that some of the sounds from my the last few minutes of this clip just stopped working. No voice, no sound effects, no music, nothing. Um, really not quite sure what's, what's going on. I'm using the NVIDIA capture that's built into the video card program for the NVIDIA experience. I'm uh, assuming it has something to do with capturing maybe um, there's a glitch if there's too much lag. Not sure. When I was playing there was very little lag that I experienced on my end. But I'll look into it. But for right now I will just be voicing over the video as I play or just commenting on it and maybe I'll add some um, sound effects in to accompany it. So as you can see, I'm going around trying to kill some deer because I gotta make my tent so I don't freeze my butt off. And this little guy kept running back and forth on me. He did not want me to kill him. And it's like, well dude, I need your fur <laughs> and your delicious, delicious meats because uh, elk jerky is very very good for you I mean especially it'll keep you warm and it's just up some rain also some random um people just walking on this pathway so he's like hey what's going on and I'm like hey oh I'm busy kind of kill this elk here so if you wanna just get out of the way and up ahead this elk is like, hey, follow me. Follow me. Come on. We're going to go this way. Come on. Oh, my God. You're burning me. Oh, oh follow me down the path some more. So I'm like, oh, oh, hell no. That's a trap. See those wolves over there? Yeah, I'm not getting involved with them. I'm going to go this way. Which, surprisingly enough, I think the elk follows me back down this way where this woman was walking but of course she ended up getting murdered by that robber and that robber's just like hey what's going on I'm not gonna rob you it's very odd I don't know why the AI is doing that I wonder if there's like a faction base that's something where in one of these mods whatever so we're gonna loot her corpse Really has nothing interesting on her, so I'm just gonna take that torch. And oh, there's the freaking animal. Yeah, I'm gonna punch the air. That does nothing great. So as I was saying, um, the land of Skyrim definitely needs some sort of marketer, business guy, or and/or designer to help some of these local shops gain the traction that they need to make their conversions yeah don't you just love all that business jibber jabber and buzzwords conversions system dynamics but there's a I mean a town around here has got to be a guy named Olaf that needs a logo for his wooden sign for his tavern. Somebody in the game's got to design it. Might as well be the user. That could be a special skill set that you can level up is marketing and design. So we kill this deer. Not the one I was hunting, but a different one. And no pelt, which is kind of disappointing. But plenty of eyeballs. Exposure, yep. Yeah. Well, that's why we're heading this way. There's a camp. Imperial soldier. He has a creepy mustache. <laughs> hey, 
Hey guys! Gonna move along this way before I freeze. Okay. So I got a long bow and an iron sword. Take this iron sword out. But the scythe I picked up from a little camp I found that had a dead necromancer guy was pretty effective. Of course, I can't get close enough to a deer to kill them. So, we're just going to go over to this mining camp instead. And rest our weary eyes. And possibly get nice and warm as well. This guy was like, Oh, I got a quest for you to do if you like to do it. I was like, hell yeah, I'll do your quest. Just uh, give me a minute. I got to fix my recording sounds before I can do any more quests for anybody else in this game. Because I refuse to have to voice over my own damn videos again. So honestly, anybody out there in YouTube land that knows what's going on, or I can't offer any friendly suggestions, please feel free. I'm just going to sit here by this nice cozy fire and reflect upon the day. And for all you guys, thank you so much for watching and putting up with my technical difficulties. Feel free to subscribe, tell your friends, and check out some of my future videos. I actually have a couple coming up that I recorded with my friend Bell. There are a couple dating games that we found online that are just ridiculous. And I will talk to you guys later. This is Zio signing off of episode 2 of Spicy Skyrim. See ya!